My name is Lauren Duro. I'm a senior and my specialty in STEM is biology. I'm testing the yellow food dye, uh, tartrazine, on fruit flies. And I'm testing to see if I see any um, like mutations in their wings or um, like how it affects their longevity, like how long they live. This project is important because food dyes are in all our foods and we don't really track how much we eat because there's so little of it, but um, you know, when you accumulate how much you eat and like how it affects you over the years, it can cause adverse effects and you know, have a really bad impact on you. Well, I get to work with flies and that's weird. Um, I use a di dissecting scope which is like a microscope, but it's more like zoomed out so that you see the, like the surface of the animal and not so much the individual cells and stuff. My name is Jonathan John Curian, and I'm in the 10th grade. My project involves these uh, salamanders, uh, newts. Um, I'm supposed to amputate one of their limbs and apply a certain protein to them. And um, after I apply the protein, the goal is to see if um, the protein will enhance the healing of the newts. And the goal is to make sure that um, it increases the rate of healing for the newts. It's necessary because it will help us to understand which proteins can um, help close wounds, help heal wounds, and can help us to um, understand more about wound healing. Um, I'm currently collecting mealworms to feed the newts. If you have an amputee, you could um, help him regenerate an arm or a hand. It's a very good responsibility to have. Like, um, before I never had the responsibility of taking care of living creatures and that, or like being responsible for such an important experiment. So I think STEM teaches you to be responsible and to be a better person overall in consistency. I think it's more hands-on, that's the main aspect. We, what we learn from our mentor, we directly apply in an experiment. So I think that's the main difference from the normal classroom. My name is Lance Trafica, I'm in 10th grade, and my STEM mentor, Mr. Neff, is in the physics department of STEM. But currently, my group and I are working on a project that pertains to green technology. So basically, our project is working on solar cells, more specifically organic solar cells. We are using berry dye, which contains anthocyanin, to facilitate the same effect that um, a silicon-based solar cell would do, but only with the organic dye of a solar cell, uh, organic dye of a berry. Our project is important because it deals with green technology, and as many people know, fossil fuels have been running out, and so people have been looking towards alternate ways to power their machines, electrical equipment, with different sources of energy. As such, when we start working on organic solar cells, we were able to start working on improving something that is already part of green technology, but making it more organic. Um, it uses centrifuge. It basically, like, because you know how with the anthocyanin, like, do we have some skin of the berries left over? This, this device separates the stuff we want from what we don't want. I'm Saeed Query. I am a sophomore, so 10th grade, and I specialize in the engineering field of STEM. Working on creating an organic solar cell that uses anthocyanin as a substitute for silicon, which is something that there's a lack of in our environment right now, and we don't want to be using all of our fossil fuels. It's important because it can be applied to a lot of different things, because energy, of course, is a very um, necessary thing, obviously. It, it can apply to so many different things, they can change the way certain things work, and we need to move to more non-consumable things that we can use for the future. My name is Stephen Neff. I am the advisor of the STEM program and I am one of the six STEM mentors. So Team Event Horizon is part of a bigger group that's going to be uh, completing over a year and a half a complete environmental assessment of the town of Bergenfield. We're going to look at things like water quality, air quality, the use of open spaces. We're going to make suggestions for improvements for the town. So at the end of their research, they'll have this big report which they will present to the town council. Hopefully, 
the council will love uh, their recommendations and then we'll get to actually implement those changes in town. The mentor is just there to guide them along, sort of steer them in the right direction, get them the supplies they need, help them out along the way. But in the end, the students own the research, it's their research, the mentor is just there as a guide. Being in STEM is beneficial to students because they get to do their own hands-on research. It's one thing to sit in a classroom and hear about something, but then to actually conduct your own experiment where you're in control. With STEM, I don't really exactly tell students what to do. Uh, we discuss what the problem is. They come up with the experimental design. They perform the experiment. They collect their own data. They analyze their own data, and then they uh, have their results. You're young. You don't know exactly what you like, but you got to take advantage of these opportunities and see what you're interested in and what you're not. So for students interested in STEM that are worried that it will be uh, too much uh, on their workload, realize that your STEM research is going to be something that you're really passionate about and interested in. So if you're passionate about it, hopefully it won't feel like work. It'll be something that you'll be excited to go and do every day, not something that you're forced to do. Apply. Okay, if you're interested, give it a try. And if you don't like it, well then, you know, we don't force you to stay. So what have you got to lose?